Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a 2017 limited edition of 750 pieces in steel. This is the Tac Heuer Carrera Caliber 5 Tribute to Muhammad Ali. Now, some explanation is in order. There was a 2016 edition of this watch that was very similar, mechanically, dimensionally identical, also steel in 750 pieces, but that one featured conventional numerals. This one was created in 2017 specifically for the Middle Eastern market to which Muhammad Ali had many very personal and spiritual connections. So this is the 2017 Middle East exclusive edition of the Carrera Caliber 5 tribute to Muhammad Ali. So the watch is 43 millimeters in stainless steel. It is 14.5 millimeters thick, 52.6 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, and 22 millimeters is the spacing between the lugs. Now, Muhammad Ali was six foot three, so this watch would have been a better fit for him than for me. You could see that it's a large timepiece that probably requires a wrist of at least 17 centimeters circumference to wear well. My wrist is only 16 centimeters circumference, so you can see particularly from this angle, as well as over the top, that the lugs are over the edge of my wrist. So this watch is just a little bit too large for me. Taking a quick look at the strap, it's high grade. It's a 70s style sporting perforation with a combination of black calfskin on the top and then on the bottom there's a sort of rubberized insert that helps to isolate the leather from the moisture sweat heat grit of the wrist to make for a longer lasting strap the strap itself is bolstered it's got some volume to it you can see the perforations go straight through to vent the wrist we have curved spring bars so the lugs can be drilled fairly close in without creating any impediment to the motion of the strap the strap is a brand new Tag Heuer factory strap, and then we have here a twin trigger deployant clasp. Those two triggers ensure that it can't pop open accidentally. Press one, it's not enough. Press none, it's not enough. You have to press both in to release. And then there's a little crimping system internally. So the strap tucks in. That's why there's no perforations for a buckle or a pin in the strap. It doesn't have one. It tucks in underneath the clasp and then it closes, and all the excess length hides underneath the clasp, which means there's no need for strap minder loops, which keeps the look clean. Now, the Carrera was created in 1963 as a chronograph, but there have been non-chrono Carreras through the years, and the defining trait, the thing that makes a Carrera a Carrera, is this lug set. Long, integrated into the case band, hugely angular thrusting and forceful. This is what makes a Carrera a Carrera. You can see even the inward cant of the lugs is fascinating and nuanced. Then you can see that the lug hoods are slightly above the lower level of the bezel. By sinking the bezel below the plane of the lug hoods, the watch is made thinner. And you can also see that the watch has a bezel with a strong vertical lip and then a sort of narrow conical band. There's a very flat flange that abuts the sapphire, and then the sapphire dramatically boxed and cambered, not a cheap piece right there. Boxed and cambered sapphires like that take time and money. You can see the Tag Heuer logo in multiple positions on the watch, including on the buckle itself. The timepiece is all of high polish. It features one crown with a double knurling and a little red band internally. That is used to keep track of the rounds of a boxing match. So 15 rounds, 15 segments, and it is bi-directional. It can be used for keeping track of a boxing match, or if you become more familiar with it, you can use it for timing. But the idea here is that it is a uniquely boxing-themed watch. And of course, we have a number of concentric rings starting outboard, moving inboard, and then finally we have the Eastern Arabic numerals. There are Arabic numerals, and then there are Eastern Arabic numerals, and these are Eastern Arabic numerals. You can see that the watch is fairly well loomed. We'll do a loom shot right here. The numerals themselves, as well as the hands, fully lit. 
And the dial base, uh, matte black to resist glare. You can see we have a little bob counter witted lancet style second sand that's been varnished white. We have a little date window at six o'clock and the disc is the same color as the dial, which is a nice thing to see. A lot of brands don't get that right. Also, you can see that the date window has a little bit of a sloped faceting to it, so it's not a sheer ugly cut through the dial. You can see Muhammad Ali's Latin alphabet signature down at six o'clock. And then rolling it all over, you can see the man himself in his prime. Inside the case, we have what Tag Heuer calls a Caliber 5, which is either an ETA 28242 or a Sleda SW200, I believe, because this is listed as a 25 joule movement. It's going to be an actual ETA 28242 because the Sleda SW200 is a 20 six joule movement. So what we have here is a bi-directional automatic winder that uses the now open source 2824 architecture. The copyrights on the movement long since expired. Anyone can make one. So bi-directional winding, 38 hour power reserve. We have hacking seconds, a quick set date, those 25 pivot joules, and it beats away at a four hertz beat rate, all of this water resistant down to 100 meters. So while it is a boxing themed watch, you could absolutely take it swimming, albeit on a different strap. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.